Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So it's been a moment. Um, I had a lot going on as per. Um, I'm finding it hard to get into the studio shed as it is. Um, due to the dog we took in being a, quite a bit of a stress head. I can't really bring him in here because he won't settle. And then when I leave him in the house, he just kicks off. Um, so it's a bit of a tough situation at the minute but i am trying my best i have been trying to get in i have recorded videos prior and they've all gone wrong because i've also done a couple of upgrades i've got a new camera and a new graphics card in the streaming pc and i changed a few settings and it all went pete tong so this is probably about my third or fourth attempt at putting some videos out in the last week or two um I do apologise, but hopefully we can get things back on track and get things out more regular. Uh, hopefully the sound and image quality is better than it was. I'm hoping it's all settled down and back as it should be now. Um, I've tried to tweak my camera and things to try and make it look a bit... I was always seemed a bit bright on the videos for some reason, so I've tried to change the lighting and try and make things look a bit better. Anyhow, I do apologise. In the meantime, we're going to jump in and do another spooky ghost reaction video. This one is to Faceham's top five. Um, I do really enjoy Faceham's channel. He's rather entertaining in his commentary of things and it's been a moment. So I thought we'd give him a view and see what's been going on in the world of the paranormal. If you do enjoy it, please pop by Faceham's channel. The link is in the description. Make sure you give him a sub and like his original video. Similarly, if you wouldn't mind subbing to my channel, hitting the thumbs up on the video, ringing the bell for alerts for when I send other videos out there or go live, uh, we will be returning to the live streams. If you want to discuss this or any of my other videos, please drop comments down below and I'll respond back. Or if you want to come to a live stream, if you catch us live and have a chat, you're more than welcome to do so. I look forward to doing that. I've still got a few spots going on with my head and things. I've changed the way I'm doing things and it's still a work in progress. I might have to go back to the old way, to be honest. Um, but in the meantime, let's crack on, get the cans on, give this a watch and let's hope it's a good one, shall we? Welcome to Fearsome Top 5. Today we'll be taking a look at 8 scary videos that'll make your skin crawl. Number 1. The Paris Catacombs are an extensive network of eerie tunnels beneath the city. By the late 1700s, Paris faced a public health crisis due to overflowing cemeteries which were causing disease and foul odors. To address this issue, the French government began relocating human remains from the crowded cemeteries to the abandoned tunnels. Now full from floor to ceiling with skulls and bones, these tunnels have an unnerving atmosphere and endless tales of hauntings. That would be creepy as if you see just corridor after corridor full of skulls and bones and things. Um, I wouldn't mind looking at some catacombs actually. There is some underneath Edinburgh which are quite famous. Um, I wouldn't mind having a... A look around there. I'm not sure if there was any York, possibly. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't mind giving it a look and seeing what all that's about. Um, but yeah, let's see what happens here, shall we? Reddit user that goes by Big Man Cali Smoker was using Google Earth when he discovered that it allowed him to explore the Paris catacombs virtually. He made his way through the that's endless cool. tunnels when he accidentally stumbled upon this. I didn't expect Google Earth to go underground and that is creepy that mind that is well creepy that right i'll take a we're looking at that it does look quite creepy but it could just be an artifact of the overlap of the google camera um, you see it out on the streets, to be fair. Lots of blurred people and things. It could well just be that. It does look quite creepy, though. There does seem to be an arm and legs, but again, it could just be images overlapping. Like, I'd imagine the door would sort of just be this, but it's sort of... 
In the depths of the tunnels, a oh, shadowy creepy. translucent form can be seen. What are you guys this doing? ominous figure looks to have a human shape, and from the motion blur, appears to have been walking. Although it's very clear that something was moving within the tunnels, this definitely does not look like a living person. No signs of a face are visible, but what looks like two legs and an arm can clearly be seen. So could this unsettling apparition be a paranormal entity accidentally captured by Google's camera? Now, like I said, I think it's more just artifacts or image overlays or something that's gone a bit wrong. But it does look creepy though, granted. I'd still like to go and check that out, to be honest. That looks well spooky with all the skulls and the bones piled up along the sides. Number two. Creepy. A TikTok user named Cat sometimes experiences a chilling sensation, as if an unseen presence is lurking nearby while she's alone in her room. Her hair starts to stand on end, and a cold, heavy pit settles in her stomach. Yet when she scans the room, it remains eerily empty. Despite this unsettling feeling, Kat has never actually seen anything paranormal. Well, that was until recently when her security camera caught this. A ghostly mist suddenly appeared and slowly drifted through the yard. This cloudy anomaly hovered through the grass before quickly vanishing into thin air. This strange mist resembles a ghostly silhouette, and Kat replayed the video repeatedly, struggling to decipher what this could be. She insists that nothing around her home could randomly produce smoke in the middle of her yard. So what might this phenomenon actually be? See, it seems a bit peculiar, this one, because it seems to come in front of the tree and then suddenly behind it, if you know where I'm, I don't know, it just doesn't look right. Not really sure what it could be, other than yet more artifacting on the camera or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what kind of cameras this is, but um, the flow of it, the movement, doesn't seem to sort of fit the surroundings properly. I don't know. It's a bit strange. What do you guys make of it? Number three. Reddit user Admirable Wealth 253 posted a video to the Paranormal Encounter subreddit of footage captured in a daycare located in New York. According to this Reddit user, several kids would complain of seeing a mean man inside the playroom. These chilling words haunted the staff as they had no idea who the kids were talking about. And on multiple occasions when one of the cleaners would go to the basement, she would stumble across toys now eerily rearranged in a circle. Now that would be creepy if you went down and all the toys were lined up like... This unsettling sight would often scare her to tears as she ran upstairs. Well no, one day, with new right. security cameras rolling inside, a terrifying sequence of events was captured. <sighs> Could be somebody hiding behind that black thing. Could be wrong. Is that a ball or something? The same place? Could somebody could be behind there, just doing all this with a string in there? Throwing a ball out. No, that tree is, that's moving. That's, that went a different way, to be fair, so I'm not entirely sure about that part. In the pitch black playroom, a toy seesaw mysteriously rocked back and forth. And as this movement suddenly stopped, a ball began rolling across the floor. Then, almost as if the entity causing this activity was moving around the room, the basket on the table got pushed to the floor. The employees were left in shock when they reviewed this footage, and they began to wonder if this activity was caused by the mean man the kids were complaining about. Number four. Say, so, yeah, I'll just jump back a touch. So these seem to be affected from something over that side of the room whereas this seemed to come more towards us 
So I'm not entirely sure what the explanation of that part could be, to be honest. What do you guys think? Basket on the table got pushed to the floor. The employees were left in shock when they reviewed this footage, and they began to wonder if this activity was caused by the mean man the kids were complaining about. Number four. On the one investigator 1107 Reddit account, a video was posted to the ghost subreddit that they're hoping to find an explanation for. One night around 9 p.m., this Reddit user came downstairs to grab something to drink. At the time, her husband was asleep in bed and their dog was curled up on the couch, meaning she was the only one awake in the entire house. But while she was in the kitchen, she heard something that sent her hurrying back upstairs. <sighs> something couldn't tell what the hell it was supposed to be saying but there was definitely something have we seen this lady before with something very similar i'm sure she was sat there was a camera over here i'm sure it's the same house there was a camera over here somewhere and she was sat here having her breakfast and she heard someone shouting or something I couldn't really make out anything there. I heard something, but I don't know what it was. It sounded like a radio. As she poured herself a glass of tea, a ghostly whisper can be heard calling out. Something like cyberpunk. Wants to play a cyberpunk. I'm not positive if she heard this at the time, although she does appear to pause and turn around. And as she opened the cabinet, another chilling voice called out. She definitely heard this voice as she quickly looked to the right, expecting to see someone speaking. I can't quite make out what these voices are saying. So if you have any guesses, please let me know. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure we're on that one. I'm sure we've seen that lady before from a different video a while back. And I'm sure we just said someone shouted her name or something It was at the time. What do you think of that one? According to this user, after hearing this voice, she did her best to remain calm and not allow this ghost to see her run away. Meanwhile, I would have Usain bolted my way out of that damn house. Number 5 A building known as Anglefield Hall was constructed in 1880, with its original purpose being a coffee shop tavern. By 1910, it transformed into a temperance hotel, then by the 1940s, it temporarily became a makeshift school. Over the years, visitors and workers have claimed they've seen shadow figures, heard voices, and even seen the apparition of a small child. Paranormal wow, investigators Jeff, Phil, and Mark from the Ghost Tech Paranormal YouTube channel set their sights on this location. And before the investigation even had a chance to start, things took an eerie turn. We lock down the building, and Phil and I start to set up the equipment for the investigation. Whilst Phil is upstairs, I am down in the main hall when I hear loud noises come from nearby. I tried to watch these guys, but I ended up watching the wrong team. <laughs> um, I've been intrigued by these for a while. They do seem sort of quite legit, to be honest. There's a few little factors that I think they could do slightly different. But for the most part they do seem quite legit but I, I got them mixed up with another team and ended up watching quite a few of their videos instead i will pick these guys up phil was that you phil
Strange sounds of movement came from somewhere in the main hall, giving Jeff his first hint of what was to come later that night. With several static cameras scattered throughout the building, along with multiple devices that are motion activated, Jeff and Phil were ready to begin the investigation. Yeah, I mean, uh, he just seemed to stand in frame, looking aimlessly around. I'm not sure if there's stuff up above him where he thinks it could come from, but to me, it's possibly more likely on the stage or behind the stage, to be fair, but he didn't seem to investigate that way. We'll see where else happens. So you see this red light on this device in my hand? This is a recorder, and if you speak into the red light, it will pick up your voice. And then we can play it back and listen to what you have to say. So can you speak into this red light, please? Can you make another noise for us, please? An EVP of a child's voice is received saying, Mummy, here is the audio enhanced. Right, this is an example of what I mean about them doing things slightly different. I don't know if it's because I'm used to other times or what, but I wish he hadn't said what he thought he heard prior. Because it's sort of, I think the term people in the paranormal community uses the sort of prime you to hear what they intend you to hear. That could be anything, to be fair. There is something, don't get us wrong. It does sound like there is something there. But mummy? Mm, I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> With the eerie, chilling whisper of a ghostly child's voice crackling through the digital recorder, it was now painfully clear that the guys were not alone in the darkness. As they exited the main hall, they were met once again with unsettling ghostly sounds coming from the shadows. We leave the main hall area and go down a narrow hallway. And as I reach the end, I hear a man's voice, but it is not captured on my digital audio. Hold on, Phil. Someone was speaking. And again, would you just come straight back if you think you hear something down there? Would you come straight back and say, I think I hit someone? Would you not call out or try and ask a question or... I don't know. Like I said, they seem quite legit and I don't want to sort of shit on them. But some of the practices a bit... I find it a bit odd. But... As, I got, as I got just down there, Let us know what I, you could, think. I could hear someone speaking. I would say it was, a, it was a man's voice. To me, like I said, if I heard something there in that instance, I'd have stayed. I wouldn't have come back. I'd have, I'd have stayed and listened and maybe asked a question or I wouldn't have just come straight back and said, I think I hit someone. As I got here, It was like, it was like a, a man whispering. I don't know if it was for me or for you, if it... That 
was from upstairs. And that was loud. It was like a, a man whispering. I don't know if it was for me or for you. If it was if it or for you. If it, if it, off he was if it Now on high alert, the guys cautiously made their way to another part of the building. And as again, I am not here to debunk I want to sort of say stuff and believe it, to be fair. But again, I don't know if it's just the edit or what do you think to stop and turn? sort of preempting the noise it didn't happen and then he reacted it so he sort of stopped and turned and from the cut the noise then happened i don't know what do you guys mean to this As they did something was caught on the static camera upstairs whilst phil and i are on the ground floor the door to room three opens and closes by itself that's creepy. I'll give them that one. Inside room three, our static cam is pointing in the direction of the small cupboard where a young child is believed to hide, and the door is out of frame. But we can rule out any natural causes for what has taken place. The building's windows are all closed and are completely double glazed. The curtains in this room are pulled across so there is no wind or air moving within the room. Also, if it was an air draft, these bells on the string in the middle of the room would move or start to swing. But as you can see, they are completely still. Something or someone clearly opened and closed the door upstairs. So Jeff and Phil made their way to that room to conduct an EVP session. And while asking questions, something downright hair-raising was caught. was a voice. was undoubtedly an intelligent response. And with all this paranormal evidence beginning to stack up, it was only a matter of time before the entity itself was caught. And with a static camera rolling in the main hall, that's exactly what happened. Whilst Phil and I were on the upper floors taking full spectrum photographs to try and gather more evidence, our static cam in the main hall captures a shadow figure moving down the far corridor. Here is the footage, followed by the film with enhancements and in slow motion. Again, it was definitely something. You can see a head and legs, I guess. That's pretty creepy. A faint shadow figure suddenly appeared and walked across the open door. This dim silhouette manifested out of nowhere before quickly moving out of view. Its outline against the light wall is hard to dispute as a head, torso, and legs can clearly be seen. This incredible piece of footage is more than enough evidence for me to know that I will never be stepping foot in Englefield Hall. Yeah, again, I'm not here to debunk at all i'm here to watch and hopefully say something that makes us just get the chills and think stuff is real some of the methods there i don't know i think the 
I've seen other guys do it differently, and I, I sort of prefer that. But the the first one, the voice, sort of preempted and primed us for what to expect to hear, and I, I didn't like that. And then the, the one at the corridor when he came back, I just don't understand why he came back. Just experience it, get in the minute, and sort of lose yourself in it, and try and make contact. That's what you're there for, isn't it? I assume. I don't know. Like I said, they do seem legit guys, and I'm not trying to shit on them. If I'm wrong, let us know. I would appreciate that. Number six. A Reddit user that goes by Cloudy Days lives with her family of five in a new townhouse. But according to Cloudy, while they previously lived in an apartment, she would often wake up in the dead of night to find a shadowy presence lurking in the room, filling her with an overwhelming sense of dread. She was never quite sure if she was still partially dreaming or seeing something from the other side. The spine-chilling encounter stopped completely as soon as they moved, until recently when she spotted this. Okay. As she laid in bed, she caught a glimpse of something dark peeking from around the corner. Yeah, I thought we were looking at this initially, but yeah, it, was, it does sort of move out and then move back again. Not as blatant as some of the obvious fakes that are out there, so fair play to them, it's not pure black silhouette. This strange dark shape crazy. looks like the top of someone's head trying to look at her. It slowly came into view before quickly ducking back behind the wall. Cloudy claims this anomaly was eerily similar to what she used to see in her old apartment. But what could this possibly be? Number seven. Yeah, that one is quite creepy. I'll give them that one. Again, it could just be somebody up there, but... Ominous, nonetheless. On February 5th at 9.40 in the morning, a TikTok user named Mildred woke up to find her dog sleeping at the foot of her bed. Thinking this was cute, she decided to record a quick video with her phone. But it wasn't until she later rewatched this video that she noticed something that made her stomach drop. I think we've seen this one prior. I think there's something at the bottom of the bed or something. It's... Dog seems to react to Twitch there. You probably didn't catch that, so let's take a closer look. Someone there? On the floor at the foot of the bed looks to be an eerie, ghostly face. This pale face can be seen from... Yeah, it could either just be somebody who flings a blanket over their head. For a split second, but as the camera panned away, then came back, this face had vanished. Mildred couldn't believe what she was seeing as she replayed the video, staring at what appears to be a woman's head on the floor. According to this TikTok user, there was no one else in the room besides her sister, who was asleep next to her in bed. I'm not quite sure what to call this, but it's definitely giving me the creeps. And if this thing ever shows up in my room, I won't hesitate to kick it out the window. I was trying to judge if the blanket sort of moved further across. Because it looks like somebody's just lying there and they pulled the bloody blanket over their head. Way then came back, this face had vanished. Mildred couldn't believe what she was seeing as she replayed the video, staring at what appears to be a woman's head on the floor. According to this TikTok user, there was no one else in the room besides her sister, who was asleep next to her in bed. I'm not quite sure what to call this, but it's definitely giving me the creeps. And if this thing ever shows up in my room, I won't hesitate to kick it out the window. Number eight. It does sort of shift a bit. I'm, I'm assuming it's just somebody 
It looks a creepy face though, but I think it's just somebody there. A Reddit user named Marco recently moved into a small wooden house in a remote village in northern Italy. After living in a city for most of his life, he was looking forward to the peace and quiet. The first few weeks living in his new home were exactly what he imagined, but this soon changed when he began to hear strange noises coming from the attic at night. According to Marco, he would hear the unnerving sound of creaking floorboards, thumping, and occasionally the sound of something being dragged across the floor. He started recording on his phone whenever this activity would begin, and after some time, he managed to catch this. That's pretty loud, like. Pretty constant as well. I think get up there and have a look. He scanned the ceiling as the sound of something moving was directly above him. While listening to these noises, he eventually built up the courage to take a look inside the attic. No one could be seen in the small dark space, and as he stood with his phone... He seemed to take a, an age to pan the camera. I mean, obviously there was nothing directly in front because it was there wasn't much space. And he just seemed to take ages to sort of pan round and have a look. It's, I don't know. Phone in hand, this the sound of hangers moving came from behind him. He the whipped chair. his head around, and when he did, the chair in front of him got knocked to the side. This sudden movement was enough to send him frantically climbing back down the ladder. And according to Marco, ever since this incident, he's been staying with a friend, as he's just too frightened to step foot back inside of that house. Make sure to find. Yeah, I mean, just to sort of revisit that last one. He scanned the he ceiling as the sound of something forever. moving was directly above him. The camera to While the listening side. to these noises, he eventually built up the courage to take a look inside the attic. Normally you'd be up and I'm going to look around. If you kind of see anything directly in front of you to start with, you But he just seems to stand for a while and then you know, we'll have a look over here eventually. No one could be seen in the small dark could easily be somebody dark space. And as he stood with his phone in hand, the sound of hangers moving came from behind him. He whipped his head around, and when he did And again it, the the chair chair in front of him got knocked to the side. Are these curtains? Could somebody be sort of just hiding behind the curtains? I the sudden movement was enough to send him friend when he did, That's the chair in front me. of him got knocked to the this seems to be like a curtain or material along, and there could be somebody just bashing the chair from in there. Side. This sudden movement was enough to send him frantically climbing back down the ladder. And according to Marco, ever since this incident, he's been staying. Again, though, I'm not a uh, sort of debunk as such. I do want to believe. I want to see something I do believe, but they just seemed. There was a lot there that could have been natural, shall we say, as opposed to supernatural. Uh, let us know what you guys think. Um, I do enjoy doing these videos. I'm not sure what's going to happen going forward because apparently YouTube uh, clamping down on reusing people's videos and things, which is a bit of a shame because I do like the support the guys whose videos they are to be fair there's some good channels that i do watch fearsome and slap time and nukes top five and 
bits of spooks and all those guys. Um, some of them are quite small channels, so uh, I do like to sort of show them some support as well. But um, in the meantime, if you wouldn't mind, like I said, the, the link is in the description. Pop by Fearsome's channel, drop them a sub. Um, be very grateful for that. Sub to my channel if you haven't already done so. Um, hit the thumbs up on the video, leave your feedback in the comments, and ring the bell for alerts when more videos go live. I will be focusing more on trying to get videos out and sort of get them back on schedule. I know I said this prior, but like I said at the beginning, I've had a few issues with the dog we took in. He's a bit of a... He's got a bit of a need issue, I think. There's, there's some at... I don't know. He, he's a lovely dog, but he's a... He's becoming more and more of a pain in the arse as time goes by, but we'll see what happens. But um, appreciate all the support. Appreciate you guys coming back. And I'll... Catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Ciao for now.